Welcome to Grover Load. I'm Anthony and AMD has not had a driver update for the 6000 and earlier series now for two months. And I want to talk a little bit about that and then we'll close with an email AMD sent me as well. But I want to know what you guys' thoughts are. Leave in the comments below about AMD not releasing that any driver updates for the 6000 and earlier and focusing on the 7900 and their driver updates. Leave that in the comments and I'll start talking about my thoughts here, which are, yeah, I kind of get it. Now, I'm coming from a um, point of view of the developers and as I write code for a living. So just outside looking in, of what I think is kind of going on here is that AMD had problems with the 7900 and they wanted to get those fixed. So they kind of moved the entire driver team, depending upon maybe they had a branch, maybe they have to have a, you know, a separate branch and then they're going to reintegrate that and then get that this a lot of the stuff back to the 6000 series as well and earlier. Who knows what they did there. I I'm interested, but that's, you know, the developer in me, that's not something and probably many people care publicly about. They just care about that they're getting support for the games that they play and everything else. Now, and I guess in this whole scenario, right, AMD is trying to focus on that because we had, what, four updates on the 7900 for the 7900 series already? And so AMD's trying to get that fixed up, and they realize that they had a mistake someplace, miscommunication between drivers, between whatever it was, um, the driver team, the hardware team, wherever. Who? Yep, it, it already happened, so we don't care about that anymore. We care about what's going to be fixed, and that's what is being done, and they had a huge shift in development to get this fixed. Is kind of my feeling that I get from this. Could I be wrong? Absolutely. But that's just my feeling, and now they're getting in correction. Now, who knows where all this goes, right? You have to spin up and get all that quality control done you have to get new game support plus you're trying to fix all the bugs for the 7900 series and that's where amd kind of is at um I, i've heard mixed things on the 7900 if you have a good experience let me know if you have a bad experience let me know in the comments below i'm interested to see kind of how this is all laying out i i am interested in a new graphics card i'm just not spending the money that they're going for right now <laughs> it's just not going to happen so uh, th there's a lot of, you know, stuff here that, you know, is disappointing, right? I wish AMD was able to integrate those and still work on those fixes and still have, you know, game support that they're having elsewhere out there. NVIDIA is releasing that, right? And so that is the one negative side is that when you have a competitor like NVIDIA being able to do that, you, you have to look at it and say, well, your competitor's doing this. Why are you getting behind on this? And that's, you're in a catch-22 because you're trying to improve those drivers and you also have to get them out. So it not having a driver for two months, I personally, I'm not playing any new games that would require that newer driver, newer support. But it is, let's say somebody wants to do a test of a game and you don't have the best performance because you haven't updated that um, on these older cards, it's going to look make you look at a disadvantage at this time. So there's, you know, you're kind of working this out. But let's say they can kind of iron things out in the driver division. Maybe going forward, you're standing a better chance at not having to repeat these issues in the future. And I hope that that's what AMD kind of took a look at here. Is they said, okay, we understand that we might have a delay in driver for everything else, but we're going to fix the 7900 series. We're going to retool a little bit how we have this driver team structured software team structured for the adrenaline software and make sure going forward we're going to keep on a good cadence and a good reliability that we were missing here in the last release if they do that i think that this is going to be a better outcome for gamers and people that use their drivers i don't know if that's the case that's just something i hope that would happen so that's a, that's a little bit of my thoughts there on the amd drivers <sighs> To me, it's, you know, like I said, disappointing that they are happening this way. I, I always like to try out, you know, new drivers, you see improvements. Um, there's a couple oddities here and there I like fix, and maybe you get that with a driver update. Um, you know, things I've reported where I think they need to be improved on. But, you know, at the same time, if you have a problem someplace, maybe taking a step back and doing some things to fix it is the better option, even though... 
in that short time is going to be frustrating to customers that maybe are looking for that latest game to be supported on this. So let's switch gears here real quick and AMD posted this um, Explore AMD the whole web mail thing and they posted a thing for gaming you know it's a never been a better time to upgrade and while that may be the case I, I still think that it almost seems like this is a marketing email to be pushed to uh, <laughs> sell some graphics cards I uh, you know while there is an improvement right 6950 XT to um, the 7900 XTX there's an improvement there it's not like if you have the 6950 or 6900 I, I don't know I'd be pretty satisfied with uh, 100 and let's say 69 60 well let's 6800 XT is 144 148 frames per second so for these prices right you have 999, 899, 699, 579. It's just, you know, why am I, if you're in there, it might not be a good thing to, if you already have those cards, to jump to that 7900. Just doesn't really make much sense there, I think. But they are still pushing the older cards. Here's your frame rates that they have. Again, this is AMD's number, so don't take it like, hey, this, these are gospel, right? Take it as, you know, there might be some variability there, but to me, it really seemed like, man, they are, they did some Apex Legends stuff, uh, Call of Duty, Modern, you know, Modern Warfare, Overwatch 2, stuff like that, all here, and they listed all these frames per second again. Yeah, it really seems like they are pushing GPUs, they're trying to get out there and push it and like I have a 6700 XT, and for the price I bought it for was less than the 369. I bought it used, right? That's all I care about. I want something that worked. It's while I do like to play in 4K, you know, I'm I'm not going out in a time in a economic climate that we have, and just going to drop money on a new GPU. Um, that, you know, they have your entry level, your mainstream, your enthusiast, and your ultra enthusiast. Yeah, I you know, and you have to see kind of where these uh, sit with NVIDIA. Well, this is interesting, right? It kind of, to me, you know, AMD is trying to finally push their GPUs, which I have to say, good job. You know, most powerful lineup of GPUs in years. I agree. It's in the last two releases, AMD, it looks like you're trying a little bit harder, which... Thank you, right? We needed more competition in this area. But at the price they're going for with, um, with the crypto market the way it is, right? Last time GPUs released, the crypto market was going crazy. That's not the case today. Um, I think the price is going to drop a little bit to be able to have those sales up. So, you know, revenue looks a little bit better here um, in quarters to come. But, yeah, it's a marketing email. It's kind of interesting that AMD is finally starting to push this a little bit more. I, I have to say it is nice to see that AMD is pushing their products a little bit more. Let's get the drivers more rock solid, and we'll see where it's uh, going. And by rock solid, I mean, you know, cadence releases on your products that are all, you're supporting. Because I, I don't think that AMD stopped supporting the 6000 earlier for, you know, GPUs. I think that it is now, what is it, the 5000 the 6000. I think they're still supporting them. It's just they're trying to get things ironed out. And that's the way sometimes it goes in development, right? You you need to clean stuff up. You found a bug that, hey, somebody pointed out. Some of these things, you know, might be a lot easier with power and all this other stuff. Some other things where you change an architecture and the bug comes around and you're all of a sudden like, ooh, this bug is not going to get fixed as fast as I thought. We're going to need some more time on this, and then you get into this scenario. But it is what it is, right? I, I think that AMD taking their taking an approach of trying to get this cleaned up is a good thing. I hope they're taking that approach. I don't know. i like to hear a little bit more from them on it, but that hasn't been the case. So let me know what your thoughts in the comments below. I'm interested to see. 
I do expect this with, you know, any company that develops software from time to time where they're going to have little issues. It's just, you know, kind of the way development works, especially if you deal with uh, big teams and you have a bug that maybe came up, maybe somebody left that knew that code very well, and you just have to learn it and be able to fix it, right? So with that, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for taking the time to help support Grave and Loan and help this channel grow. I really appreciate it. Until next time, God bless and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.